I'm a mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, the only channel that can wipe its own ass. But I want And in today's video, we are building a Chris Fane bust. It's another installment to my Tattoo the Earth Slipknot bust series. And I'm really hoping that this one turns out cool because I am still super disappointed over the last bust that we did. The Mick Thompson bust didn't quite turn out the way that I wanted it to. When we first started the Mick bust, I was pretty excited with how it was turning out because I did genuinely think that it was turning out well. We had a nice mask, the start of the bust was nice, and then it came time to do the hair and it was just a big fucking mess. The hairstylist took forever, didn't give me exactly what I wanted wanted and the bust very much suffered because of it and it just took so fucking long that I was kind of like Blah, about the whole thing. So, I'm hoping this one breathes new life into the series for me. I'm pretty excited. I don't really think that there's going to be much room for error here because it's so straightforward and simple. Knock on wood. But before we jump on into that, I did want to shout out a couple of my high tier patrons. People like Jordan Gleason, Sir Smiles 555, Nightshade, Tyler Rizzuto, and Clancy James. Thank you guys very much for your patronage. And if you're watching this and want to join the Cool Kids Club, I'm going to add the information down below. We have the maximum amount of Patreon tier levels, everything from a dollar to $100, and each level has a different set of rewards, and they're all pretty fucking rad. So if you guys want to gain early access to my videos, join a private Facebook group, get a monthly goodie bag, have a shot to receive stuff like Stinky's Locks of Hair, a random mask, some of the stuff that we've used on the 365 Day Clown so far, exclusive official merch, and so on and so forth, make sure to head over to Patreon. Link is in the description. Check it out. It'll be fun. Cool. Okay, bye. So on with the Chris bust. Obviously, we have everything that we need here, which isn't much. We have the mask itself. I've got the jumpsuit. We've got this latex bondage hood. And then in the box, we have the bust. I haven't opened this or the jumpsuit yet, so I figured that I would do that on camera because I knew what they were. Psych! No surprise there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take those out real quick, and then we'll just start setting this thing up. Perfect. Wow. So I don't know how well you guys can tell, but uh, something here just doesn't quite look right. You know, we're going for a nice Chris Fane look, just a average white Iowa guy, and uh, I actually ordered a Caucasian bust, and uh, I didn't, I didn't receive that. This is not, this is not what I ordered. All right, so I, I don't know how well you guys can see it. I knew that the mannequin that I was buying was a little darker complected, but I just, I didn't expect it to be like this. And uh, luckily we can get away with this one because every single part of Chris is covered. His neck is covered by the bondage hood as well as his ears and his hair. He's got face paint on. Obviously he's got the mask and the coveralls. So it's not that big of a deal this time, but I would have been super fucking pissed if I had tried to do this with like Corey or uh, even Paul because Paul's not even that dark and he's half black. So yeah, that's a bummer. Um, I don't know if they just thought, fuck it, he won't notice or what, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess we're gonna see what we can do with this guy. Insert AJ's a racist because he didn't want the black mannequin here. Disclaimer, I'm not calling AJ a racist in this segment. This is what sucks, is when I started this, this fucking display company, I contacted them and I said, hey, do you have this many of this exact same bust? I was going to do them all on the same displays. And they said, yeah. And I said, hey, would you mind just selling those to me? And they were like, oh, fuck yeah, that's what we'll do. And then they listed all of them and they all fucking sold before I could buy them all. So I started knocking out larger members like Mick and Clown and I'm gonna have to change Jim's to that because he looks fucking goofy being tiny. And then all of those ones sold. So now I'm just trying to do what I can and uh, I'm fucking getting the wrong color fucking displays. Man, this project has become very discouraging very quickly. Started out so cool. I thought I was doing the harder ones too. Like the Sid one is like the most common complex one that I could have fucking picked. I did it first, it turned out great. Okay, enough complaining, let's uh, see what we can do here.
We are finally fucking complete. This one actually took more work than I thought. Imagine that. And not just because the bus showed up as a different collar. It just uh, was a real pain in the ass trying to get this mask to sit on this head correctly. And I kind of saw that coming because this is the tightest strap mask that we've done since the C3. But that one wasn't really a big pain in my ass. This one is because uh, obviously these masks are made for display. But mannequin heads are all different sizes. So the head that Jimmy strapped this mask on may be different than the one that I have here which I clearly think is the case, but I finally got it on there. I did some uh, tweaking to the actual straps, pulling certain ones tighter than other ones, and kind of stuffing the mask and playing around with it for a little bit off camera. And I uh, finally got this, which I am pleased with. We've got the weird, saggy, droopy, evil eyes, and uh, I had to play around with the mouth a little bit, but we finally got that to kind of look correct, so. I'm pretty stoked with it. I think it looks good. I think it captures Chris's like entity there or whatever you want to call that. And I'm just uh, excited to see it with the rest of them. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some up close shots of this, let you take a nice good look at it. And then we will throw it over with the rest of the Tattoo the Earth bust set and show it off there as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Paul is up next. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, we will see you later. Perfect.